For me, I, I believe that Selma was the highest point in the movement for me. Um, it was so orderly, it was so peaceful. It was like military discipline. It had precision, and people marched with a sense of dignity and pride. And somehow it was almost like a dream that we would make it to Montgomery. The Bloody Sunday March of 1965 in Selma, Alabama was the result of years of rising tensions. Local activists and the Student Nonviolent Coordinating Committee, then led by John Lewis, had been working to register African American voters there with little success. In early 1965, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr.'s Southern Christian Leadership Conference joined in. They saw Dallas County Sheriff Jim Clark as the perfect foil. The prospect of violence against peaceful protesters, captured by television cameras for the nation to see, would help advance the cause of voting rights. 600 marchers left Brown Chapel AME Church that day, led by John Lewis and Hosea Williams. They went to the Edmund Pettus Bridge, which they thought would be the beginning of a long journey. On the day we walked and came to the head of the day, hill to the top of the hill. I didn't have any idea that we would be beaten. Oh, in the past, we had been arrested and taken to jail. Um, I was really shocked of what happened. You, you had the reporters there, uh, print as well as the electronic people. And, and for something like that to happen, daylight by people watching. It just, I really thought that we would be arrested in jail. And I was prepared to go to jail. Lewis has been a consistent progressive voice in Congress since arriving in 1987. While he is honored and lauded often for his role in the civil rights movement of the 1960s, he sees an extension of those battles today on issues such as gay marriage. It reminds me of another period in the state. It is time for the state um, to move in the right direction. Uh, gay marriage, marriage equality, it, is here to stay. And it's my belief, I don't want to read the Supreme Court, but you cannot have state courts define a federal court. When people were asked Dr. King about interracial marriage, at one time in the state of Alabama, 
black people and white people couldn't marry, or in the state of Virginia, some of the other southern states, other parts of our country. Dr. King said, races don't fall in love and get married. Individuals fall in love and get married. So if you're gonna have an equal protection under the 14th Amendment to the Constitution, you cannot say it's good for some people and not good for other people. You cannot have equality for some and not equality for all. So it's time for Alabama, like some of the other states, to fall in line. This is the 21st century. On a recent Saturday, Lewis invited members of the national media to join him in Selma, to walk over the bridge again, to tell the story again and again to news anchors from around the country. Lewis said he feels a responsibility to do this. There are so few people like him left who lived these crucial moments in the civil rights movement. 50 years ago, we didn't interfere with the floor traffic. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's important to tell the story, uh, but it's so important. I'm so gratified when I bring my colleagues. I have noticed that over the years, uh, people said that's so meaningful. It was that uh, I learned so much I didn't know. And you have other members, so I don't just need to be the witness, uh, the one, but the other members now share their experiences with other members. Now, I, I feel that I uh, have uh, a responsibility uh, to help keep it alive, but there are other people. And I would tell the story, continue to tell it to the best of my ability. But I do feel like that I've been left here for a purpose. <laughs>